guys, so I'm here with my June favorites, but I thought before I got started I would chit chat with you guys a little bit, um, kind of fill you in on some some things that have been going on. Um, you'll notice that, well, I guess you guys have noticed that Minnie and I did not film May favorites. Um, things are crazy in her schedule, and for mine, about the time that I was planning to sit down to film, um, we got some bad news on our Boxer Cooper. You guys know that I am a puppy mom. I have, well, um... I have now have one boxer and one pit bull. Um, sorry. Um, um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, uh, on June 3rd, I posted that it was Cooper's ninth birthday, and he had a fabulous birthday. We had Frosty Paws. It was um, a lot of fun. And um, the following day, we had noticed that he was acting a little bit strange, so we took him in, and we found out that he had can he has he had cancer. Um, he had basically it's lymphoma. I mean how it's so bizarre to me still that um, pets get such human uh, diseases and things. Um, but anyway, uh, we brought him home. We kept him comfortable. He didn't show too many signs in the beginning so he had a lot of fun. We took him to the puppy, uh, the all, all, is it All Dogs Bakery? Three Dog Bakery. <laughs> Took him to Three Dog Bakery. He had a blast. He got so many treats and new toys. Um, he, we took him to McDonald's and he got a vanilla ice cream cone. We don't normally give our dogs people food besides peanut butter, maybe the occasional piece of popcorn. But um, he had a vanilla, sh uh, vanilla shake, a vanilla cone. And I might and put some pictures of him at the very end just because. Um, but you guys know that Mindy and I love our puppies so much, and they are. I mean they in all intents and purposes have been my children for uh, nine and ten years. I have a uh, ten-year-old Barkley who's a boxer and ten-year-old Jade and um, Jade just had her birthday on July 4th. Happy birthday America! Happy birthday Jade! Um, but we cherish them and they're such a huge part of our family and it has been really difficult losing Cooper. We lost him a week ago and um, yeah I'll just say that um, Cancer is a bitch. That's basically all I can say about that. Whether you dealt with that with people or with pets or, fr you know, whatever. It's just nasty and that's um, it. But I don't want to be a total downer, but I kind of wanted to let you guys know because I share love for pets with a lot of you guys. Um, there have been several of you that I've wanted to reach out to over Instagram and kind of um, tell you guys what's been going on. Um, Dawn is one of them, Heather, you have the two boxers, um, but I didn't want to be Debbie Downer, you know what I mean? So, um, but anyway, so that's what's been going on, so that's why you haven't gotten a ton of videos from me recently, because I just honestly, um, it's just been nuts here, it's been, um, been crazy, but, uh, we are hanging in there, and we are loving our other two babies and spoiling them rotten, and I did want to share with you my favorites because I have a lot of fun stuff, and doing videos like this can make me feel a little more normal, um, and, uh, if those of you who don't have pets and you're sitting here going, like, what is she talking about, um, I, that's okay, uh, you know, I don't get it because I've had, I've grown up with animals my entire life, but, um, you know, those of you with pets, you know the loss in the family, like, you know the, 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 I don't know, Wes and I have been saying the energy in our house is different, especially when you have multiple and each of them have their personalities that are just so, you know, they, they, they make a puzzle, and when one of the pieces is missing, it's kind of, it, it's going to take us a little bit to get back to normal, and, uh, Wes and I, we like a loud house, we are too, if you can't, if you can't believe it, we're too loud people, <laughs> Um, our house is not that quiet, and Cooper was like the ringleader, kind of the crazy, the crazy one, uh, so we're missing that right now, but, um, anyway, that's it, I want to, I do want to get in and talk about, uh, fun things, and, you know, in the grand scheme of things, when you've got a lot going on in your life, um, products and stuff may not be that important, but you know what, it's fun, it's a distraction, it's fun, um, because I didn't do a favorites last time, I feel like I have a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, some stuff is still available. Some stuff is with MAC, Alluring Aquatics Collection, which maybe you can find at counters and, and, and you still get it. But, you know, I hate that a lot of their stuff comes out limited edition. You can't get it. But um, I did want to stay true to what my favorites have been over the last two months. So 
um, I'm going to show you those. And if you manage to, s to snag some of it, then maybe you'll, you know, share my love with it or, or whatever. But, um, yeah, so anyway, I'm just going to get started. And I'll get started, I'll try to do the things that I think are available first, and then the things at the end um, that aren't. How about that? That might make more sense. Um, I have the Bare Minerals um, Ready Eyeshadow 8.0 in the Nude Beach. I am wearing it today. Um, just a couple of colors out of here. But I have really enjoyed the soft, shimmery, um, neutral palette. Um, I did a first impressions video on this a little while ago, a little while back. It does have two matte shades and the rest are shimmer and I just love it. It's definitely for the neutral lover, the light eyeshadow, the shimmer, you know, it's just, it, it's gorgeous for this time of year. There is no, you know, deep, oops, sorry. There is no deep color in here to really smoke out your look, but I feel like what they were going for with this palette, I don't miss that. I have a lot of palettes that have that dark matte brown or dark matte black, and um, for these shades, I just feel like I like what they were going with. Um, it wasn't meant for everyone, but it certainly was meant for me. I've gotten a lot of use out of this. Right after the video went up, I had worn it like a week or so before the video, and then after the video, I probably reached for this every day for two weeks, and I'm still reaching for it. And um, I might be going to the beach uh, in, a, in a week, just for a quick weekend, and um, this is probably what I'm taking, because I don't want, I don't need deep eyeshadow, you know what I mean? Um, and just a quick side note, I had mentioned in some previous videos that we were going to Mexico, um, and I was excited to take a lot of these products with me, but right after we found out that Cooper was sick, we canceled our trip, thank Thank goodness for um, travel insurance because I didn't, we didn't want to leave him um, knowing that he was feeling good and we wanted to have some really good time with him. But uh, no way would I leave him with a dog sitter. Uh, my dog sitter is a good friend of mine and no way, even though he was cool with it, um, no way would I have left him, you know, with someone else. Like the worry of what, you know, what if something bad happened? Couldn't do that. Anyway, so that being said, this, this little baby is still taking a trip to the beach, which... I'm excited about. Okay, one of the next things that I'm excited to talk about because Jade just saw someone walking down the street and she's letting them know she's here. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear her. Um, is the Christian Dior, the Dior Show Fusion Mono Matte Shadow in Mirage. Um, now I got this, Minnie and I both got this as a gift from our friend Christine who lives in France and had sent us, we put a video up on like a French beauty unboxing that we did. She sent us a ton of her favorite products. Um, and we, Christine, if you're, if you're watching, we have just loved everything. And this little baby has not disappointed. It's actually been a really good, um, base for a lot of shadows here, which I've loved the combo of those, but it is just the most gorgeous brown taupe shade. Look at this. It is just beautiful. It's creamy. It lays down nice. It sticks all day. I use um, Urban Decay Primer Potion, um, but I have just gotten so much love of love out of this. Um, whether it's been matching it up with other shadows or just laying it all over my lid and letting it go. And I use my finger and I just blend it into the crease and up a little bit. And it's gorgeous just all by itself. A little bit of mascara, a little bit of liner. Um, but you guys know we love these Fusion Monos and I'm so happy to have this one. And I thank Christine so much for thinking of us because it is beautiful. Okie dokie. Next thing. Uh, Max spontaneous it's in the shade spontaneous but it's the patent polish lip pencil it is a gorgeous pink I know I've shown this before but um, beautiful I have just enjoyed wearing this thing it's a little nub right now I need to you just twirl it up twist it up um, but I'm pretty sure these are still available you can check your counter check I got this one from Macy's.com but I have loved the color I have loved the texture the shininess it does not dry my lips out it is easy I don't need a mirror when applying it it's just the perfect glossy lip balm I have just loved it so much and I'd love to get another one so if you guys um, have a bunch of these can you recommend a color that would be nice for my skin tone um, I would like to add another one to this Love that. Um, this stuff. Can I just say, it's the Ola Henriksen 
Truth Serum Collagen Booster. We got this in a new beauty test tube. I have since finished it and then found that I had a sample of it that I must have gotten from Sephora one time um, and it had just a twist off cap. It didn't have a pump so I've dumped it in here. So I'm on my second bottle. I have loved this. I use this in the morning. It has become my morning serum, which before this, I skipped serum in the morning and only used serum at nighttime. So um, I have just been loving this, and I do believe that it brightens my skin. Um, I just love that it's got it's the vitamin C uh, complex, so it is for brightening. And um, let's see, it also says uh, green tea extract and, yeah, vitamin C complex. So I put it down my neck, and what's left over on my hands, I just... Um, on this part of my hands, I wipe all the backs of my hands because I think it is supposed to also help with little um, age spots, sunspots, just brightening, brightening your face. Love it. We'll definitely be repurchasing once that baby is run out. Let's see. The next thing is this. Oh, this is something else Christine sent to us. Um, it is the Nukes Lip Balm for dry and chapped lips. Comes in a pot like this. I have just loved this. I've had a massive dent, put a massive dent in this. I keep it next to my bed, so I only use it at night. It has the most, ugh, it smells so good. It's citrusy. I just love the texture of this stuff. Um, it's thick. It's creamy. It's, it's like a treatment to me. It's not just a balm. And I get crazy with it. I just don't put it on my lips. I like rub it all over. I've been known to take a little bit and put it on around my cuticles or if I have a little dry skin right here. I just think that this stuff is fabulous. I'm so happy to have it. So thank you, Christine. She had, um, in her note to me, she had paid attention and known, she's known that I've had issues with my lips just being dry or peeling and whatnot, and I do think that this has helped, so I definitely um, go to this just about every night. Unless I'm so, so tired that I forget, but usually I don't. Okay, two things. I haven't talked about nail polish in a while, so I thought I would. Um, I got my nails done about a week ago in Essie Butler Please, so that's what I currently have. I'm not going to, don't look too close because it's been a week and you can see some of the wear. I say don't look and then I put it up to the camera, right? Um, gorgeous, gorgeous color. Perfect for this time of year with July 4th but um, and with the World Cup going on. But Mindy, I think, got this color last year and wore it and I was like, oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous on your nails. And I kind of forgot to go get it. So I was happy to pick this up. Didn't need it, but um, love this blue on my nails. And then I'll just talk about what's on my toes because I've had this on my toes a few times. And it's the OPI Live Love Carnival. It was from the Brazil collection. I do know that I've seen these still at Ulta and even at our grocery store Kroger. Um, so I think these are still out and this is on my toes. I love this hot coral. It is just beautiful. And um, I also thought it was kind of cool that, you know, the World Cup is in Brazil and this is the Brazil collection. I know it's silly, but I like it. Okay, so I thought real quick I'd just show the things from the MAC Alluring Aquatics collection that I have just been loving. Um, the two lip glasses. This one is in Water Deities. I'm wearing it today. I just have it slapped on my lips. There's nothing underneath it. Um, I have just loved this gorgeous, like, metallic-y peach color. She's beautiful. Love it. And then this one is Clear Water. I've worn this many times um, over some lipsticks and just on its own. I love the shimmer in this. It is just gorgeous. Speaking of over a lipstick, the Cream Sheen Goddess of the Sea. It's that, like, radiant orchid color. Uh, be beautiful, beautiful. I wore this to a wedding recently, this combo, and um, I got lots of compliments there on it. So, beautiful. I'm so happy to have picked these up, and I hope that you guys um, had picked up something, if you're a MAC lover, that you love as much as I do with those. And then the last thing is the Extra Dimension Bronzer in Aphrodite Shell. This sold out pretty fast. I think I know I got the last one at Nordstrom. Um, I have just loved using this as an all-over bronzer, just at my hairline, on my cheekbones a little bit, a little bit here, here, uh, down my neck. You can't really tell because my neck looks really white, but I promise you, I am not too toned in person. But um, yeah, I've really, really loved this, and I am so happy to have it because I don't really have anything like this, and it's really fair, so it doesn't do a ton. Um, but I think uh, this is going to be a good one for all through the year and a really nice one to have um, going into the fall and possibly winter because it will probably warm me up without being too much. So um, 
that is all of my favorites. And um, thank you guys so much for, uh, I don't know, the beginning part of this video. I don't normally get emotional on camera. Um, well, actually, do I? I think I've teared up on camera before. But um, I hope that that didn't, uh, I hope I wasn't too much of Debbie Downer. But just wanted to, I figure we're all friends and I wanted to keep you posted. So thank you so much for watching and we'll be back with more videos soon. Um, I would love to know what some of your favorites have been and if you've used any of these or own any of these and if, what you think about them. So please leave me comments below and I will see you guys soon. Bye!